Hi, and welcome to the next episode. So in the last episode, I left you off at the beginning of ocean acidification. Well, remember what we've learned. We learned through the videos on climate change uh, that humans are putting way more carbon into the air than any other living thing the uh, microphone, in the history of our planet. Uh, sure, we've had carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, and that's what allowed our planet to stay warm. Remember, it was about 300 parts per million. Well, we're way over 400 parts per million now, and that is making the blanket around our planet so thick that it's staying warmer than ever before. And remember what else you learned? That carbon dioxide that's in the air takes how many years before it's gone? That's right, 100 years. So we have to stop burning fossil fuels, stop putting carbon into the air, and we can do that. We can power our world with renewable sources of energy. Remember, we've got that sun shining uh, on parts of our planet all the time. Using solar panels, we can collect that energy and convert it into uh, electrical energy. Energy transformations, remember? We also have uh, wave energies. We've got wind energies. We've got many energies that don't use burning fossil fuels that we can convert into electrical energy and store for use for power. So we can do it. We just have to uh, make it so that people can make money because what's making money is what's being done. So here's what you're going to do. Go to the Assignment tab and click on Open Google Classroom. Just like with the climate change series of videos, you are going to get a document where you can take notes on what you're going to learn about ocean acidification. So here it is. And uh, it's, it's a lot like the last one. So we're going to watch a few videos. You're going to read articles and look at data charts and answer questions. In here is where you take your notes. And just like before, remember that The more you type, the bigger these boxes get. So feel free to type as much as you want. You totally can. And with every source we look at, we're going to look at these three things. What ocean acidification is and how we know it's happening. Why ocean acidification is a problem to oysters and other shellfish. And most importantly, the part I like the best, is what are possible solutions? You'll be taking those notes right here. So open that up, do it now, pause the video, and then come back when you're ready to type. I'm going to go back to... So the task is... Yeah, the task is to take notes and learn. Let's start with the first video, Ocean Acidification by the Alliance for Climate Education. filling up our atmosphere with carbon dioxide. As a result, the planet's warming. Heat waves and floods are more likely to be extreme and people's lives will get tougher. And the more we learn about climate change, the more risks we uncover. Since we started burning fossil fuels, the ocean has absorbed about half of all the CO2 we humans have put out. Now, that's a very important fact. So remember, what's our planet covered mostly by? That's right. Water. Oceans. 70% of the planet is covered with uh, oceans. And they absorb carbon dioxide just like trees do, only they do something there that they don't do in trees. So trees are a perfect place to take carbon out of the air when they photosynthesize and store it in the leaves and the trunks and the stems. Keep that carbon in there. But in the ocean, eh, not so good. And she just said half of the carbon we're putting into the air gets sucked into the oceans. 